Hey guys, long time no see. Sorry for the shaky cam here. Uh, I am getting ready to do a little bit of thrifting. I know it's been a while since you guys have come along with me on a thrifting hunt. Uh, sales have been pretty slow, as I, I know people have mentioned all across the board. In fact, it was even talked about on a video by Soda City Flips, where he was gracious enough to shout me out. And I think from that, I gained at least three new subscribers. So welcome, guys. We're getting ready. We're at our first stop today. We're at Liberty Thrift. Uh, let's just see what we can find today. We're just looking for stuff that has a really quick sell-through rate or very low priced and good profit margin. Let's hope that we find something good today. It's been a while. All right, guys, let's go along. Well, let's see what the stuff they got behind the counter here is. I see some video game controllers. Those are some generic ones, not really much interest there. I see some Sega Genesis games, mostly sports stuff. Mm, not really interested in that. Maybe that Shrek game or the Mario Kart Wii. Let's take a look and see how much those go for. We'll ask a manager to come over. And then we gotta ask him what happened to the electronic section. I wonder where they moved it to. Hmm. Oh, what's this thing up here? It's marked 150. This Volkswagen. Uh, something or other. I have no idea what it is, to be honest with you. But we're not trying to spend that kind of cash today. Let's see what else we can find. Guys, we have a really cool find right here. We've got this Sonos speaker. It is priced up quite a bit. It is $29.99, but I do have some points off here, so I'm gonna pick this up. And there was one that sold today for 
$110 free shipping. It is quite hefty, but this store does test the speakers out and everything like that already. So we're gonna add that to our cart and hopefully that'll be a quick flip. Don't like to spend that much if I don't have to, but let's see what else we can find over here in their new electronics section. So not really seeing too much of anything special. This nice camera bag though. $8.99, not a bad price. Uh, some keyboards and stuff down there. Do not sleep on keyboards. Like here's a nice gaming one. I'll take a look at this a little bit closer. Not sure if it's anything special, but it could be. So we're gonna look that up and we'll see if it's worth anything. Guys, we picked up a couple cool things. We got this Bop It Extreme 2. Really good sell-through rate, only five bucks. Looking to probably list that for about 30 free shipping. Don't like to do too much free shipping stuff, but that's what all the other comps go for. They have free shipping on them, so. Uh, and then we got this Tour Edition Triominoes. Only $2.99, Triominoes is one of those Bolo games that you can find, like this one, and the Phase 10 dice. I always look for Phase 10 dice when I'm out thrifting. Um, I actually just sold one the other day. It was only listed for a couple days, so that's how quickly that game sells. This one's a little bit slower, but it doesn't take up a lot of room. Like I said, I got some points to use, so let's get out to the checkout, and then we'll get on to our next store. Guys, we're at our next stop. We've got Goodwill next to our Goodwill outlet bins. We're going to go hit up the main Goodwill store first and see what we can find, and then we'll do some hunting at the outlet center. But again, not really looking for anything super expensive. Want to see if they got any good deals that anybody may have missed. So the music was bumping in there, but we got two items, and this one is a multi-quantity. If you know, you know, shout out Commonwealth Picker for letting me know this back on early in my reselling. But these are the Exxon Tiger Tails. Uh, there is about 10 of them, 9 or 10 of them in this baggie here, and they go for about 20 bucks each, and we got these half off for a buck fifty. And then this is a Power Rangers Dino Fury Saber something or other. I don't know. It had really good sell-through rate, though. It was uh, like 45 listed, 65 sold, so a little bit over 100%. And we got that for only $29.99. And it does work like I showed you earlier. So we finished that. I'm going to go drop these off into the car. And then we're going to go take a look at the outlet center and see what they got to offer today.
Oh, not doing so bad so far. This thing here, I sell these these weird little yeah. turtles, like 30 bucks all the time. Wow. I'm like, I'm like, well, that should pay for pretty much everything I pick up. <laughs> is this, that's not a charger, is it? Nah. I don't know what that is. That's the problem with all the big heavy stuff. It is a grinder, like a prep, like a pepper grinder, or or that, or the uh, the corker. Yeah. It didn't look like it was gonna be in working condition. <laughs> Lots and lots of stuff to look through. Let's go weed this out a little bit. All right, guys, after all that is said and done, this is all that we are left with. Hopefully, this turtle here, which I'll see comps for, will sell and will get us all of our money back for all the rest of this stuff. These normally go for me about 28 to 25 dollars plus shipping on eBay. And I'm going to need some help identifying this Godfather book. It's pretty stained and everything, but I think it's a first edition. 
And this Beyblade Stadium was a fantastic find. So, oh, and this pokey little puppy plush was also a great find. All right, let's go take a look at everything that we got. All right, guys, we are back from our day of thrifting. I do apologize. There's two purchases here that I did not actually get on camera. I was talking to my friend Alyssa. Uh, some of you may know her as Babbles, Blings, and Needful Things on YouTube. Go check her out. She doesn't have a ton of content up, but she is a marvelous lady. So, I was talking to her, so I missed two of the things I picked up, and we're going to go over our haul here. We're going to start off here with this little purchase. I picked up this Triominoes Tour Edition game. Uh, Triominoes is a decent board game to pick up, especially these ones in the tins just seem to do a little bit better. They were comping out right around $18 plus shipping and handling. Not the fastest sell-through rate on this version, but there are some that just sell like crazy. Then we've got this Toyota. Uh, this is the A56405 car radio. I will have to try to get these out or try to strip these wires so that I can get this tested properly and make sure that it powers on. If it does power on, should go for right around the $45 mark. It was marked at $4.99, and it was half off at the Goodwill because red tags were half off today. After that, next up, we've got one of the Bop It Extreme 2s. Looks from the, in, from the outside that the battery terminal is nice and clean, so I expect that it'll work. Fingers crossed, though, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, these have a really good sell-through rate. Uh, they are not super expensive, but I picked this up at our first stop for 5 bucks, And then I had a $10 credit that I used for that entire purchase. So that should go for right around $29.99 free shipping. I don't do free shipping on everything, but I do free shipping when other sold comps call for it. So... Just pray that I live, you know, I live in Philadelphia. Just pray that it doesn't go all the way to the West Coast. Next up, this was a big find, and I ended up paying up for it. But thankfully, like I said, I had that $10 credit. And that is this Sonos, uh, Sonos Play 3 uh, speaker in black. The black one seems to sell better than the white one. This one was marked at $29.99. But the sold comps are showing for 110 free shipping. Uh, so I'll probably undercut that, you know, do one, 109 free shipping. Just so I move up a little bit further in the search results. After that, we found this book here at the bins. Some of you will recognize that logo. That is The Godfather. Uh, this is written by Mario Puzo. And this is a copy from 1969 it was even you know signed as a gift for somebody and this one is a third edition printed in the usa there you go here copyright 1969 third impression printed in the united states of america it is missing the dust jacket um prices are all kind of over the place depending on which edition I figured I picked this up at the bins, and I only spent $15 at the bins, so I'll mark this off at $20 plus shipping, and hopefully get myself a sale there. Sorry to not be going in order of where I picked everything up, but, um, but you know, kind of bounce back and forth. This is just how I wrote out my script. Picked up a package of these Pet Safe Drink Well replacement carbon filters. Saw a comp online for about $19 free shipping. These were only $2.99, and they're pretty light. I think this is under a pound, so a little bit of profit to be made there. Uh, people always need stuff for their pets, so definitely not a bad pickup. And we've got here one of my favorite things to find, because they're always priced about this price point. This Honeywell, uh, this is the... RTH6300B1005. 
Uh, there were some random comps showing like 60 bucks for some reason, but these generally go for about 30 free shipping or $24.99 plus shipping. Then we've got my one of my other favorite sales for the day. Uh, this Power Rangers Dino Fury Saber. Um, this was only $2.99 at the regular Goodwill that's next to the bins. And this goes for about $30 shipping and handling. And it lights up and makes noises and all that stuff. Next up at the bins, I found this Star Wars Build Your Own Blaster. Unfortunately, it is missing a few components, but this is a very expensive toy uh, to look out for. So I will sell this for parts. Not sure. Like I said, the ones that are there are listed really high. The ones that sold, sold for pretty good money. I figured I would list mine, these extra parts for it, within the box for $50 plus shipping and handling. And, you know, leave best offers on, see what happens. Right behind that, this was a big one. I didn't want to pay this much money. There are no current listings for this, this vibrating football game. But there was one sold for $77 plus, I believe it was $40 shipping and handling uh, that just sold a few days ago. So not a bad pickup there. Figure I'll take the risk being the only one that has it listed. Next up, we've got, this was a little bit surprising. This was at the bins. This pokey little puppy, the little golden book. Stuffed dog made by Coles Cares. I saw some sold comps for right around 25 free shipping. And this doesn't weigh very much. And so it was probably pretty much free at the bins. Maybe like a dollar or so. So I don't mind. I don't mind that. After this, if anybody could actually tell me what this is. I thought it was a pillow, but I, I don't know. This is a Cuddle Duds. Um, Cuddle Duds is a good brand. Cuddle Duds has a good sell-through rate, but I couldn't tell if they had any... Uh, I couldn't find any pillows that were like this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to list it at. I don't have a sold comp for you to double-check the price. But and then this is one of my favorite things to pick up. I pick these up all of the time. These baby Einstein... Um, musical turtles like they're check go check my store and look at the stuff i've sold there is this one in this dark green color and then there is a bright lime green turtle the bright lime green turtle is the one that you really want to be looking for but both sell extremely well i normally get between 25 and 28 plus shipping and handling in these uh, for these and i get priority mail so people pay up for the shipping and handling Next one, uh, I found this entire bag at the Goodwill for $2.99, and that was half off because all of the red tags were half off. And this is eight of the Exxon Tiger Tails. Um, you know, put a tiger in your tank. And I learned about these, I think, from Commonwealth Picker, but I'm not 100% sure. It might have been. I'm pretty sure it was Commonwealth Picker that I learned about these from. Like I said, $1.50, and there's eight of these, and they sell regularly for $20 plus shipping and handling. So that is a $160 in value. Then right here I have this little Lumo Stars uh, plush, this little plush uh, puffin. He's not worth anything. I don't know. He was in my cart at the bins. I just completely forgot to take him out and, you know, throw him back. But he's cute. I'll give him to my son. No value there. And then I love knowing what other resellers don't know. And that is about certain nerdy stuff like anime and toys. And this I was going to actually pick up for my son. Me and him play this game. This is from Beyblade. This is Dranzer Flame Field. This is a vintage Beyblade Stadium 
from 2002, so that is the first era of Beyblade. Uh, there were, I think, three or four listed and two sold. The two sold comps sold on best offers, but they sold between $50 and $75 plus shipping and handling. Uh, the shipping and handling on the $75 one that took the best offer was pretty high. They paid about $25 in shipping and handling. I'm pretty sure I can get that down because this isn't going to really weigh anything, even with some packing material in the box, but the box will have to be large. But I was pretty excited to find this because this is, you know, vintage my era type toys. And I was surprised to see at how much value it had. Guys, that is everything that we found today. I think when I added it all up, it was we spent around $90 total for the day, give or take, you know, rounding up and stuff, rounding up the change. And it was a total of about $702 in total listed value. That does not account for some of the items that have free shipping, some of the items that charge shipping. You know, you make a little bit of money from your shipping if you're doing it correctly. And... Yeah, I think not not too bad overall. If you want to see more content like this, do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on our next hunting adventure. Thanks, everybody.